Hi Taurus, thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you are doing well. This is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We'll take a look at the cards for the awareness or big ideas for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So without further ado, let's just get started with your reading. Okay, the first two cards, the awareness for the week. Okay, so awareness of the week, we have the two of wands. And the two of wands is a card of uh, the initial stages of thinking of what you want to do next. Where's your path going to take you? Where, where in the world are you going to go? This could be a literal card of travel. You could be thinking about taking a trip. This can go to your goals and your hopes and your dreams and your pursuit, your pursuit of things that you truly enjoy, of maybe making a change in your employment or uh, you know, adding on to your skills or talents we have the portal here. We have the finely dressed man looking out over the water, holding the world in his hand, thinking about, hmm, what's next for me? So when we think about twos, we think about decisions. And he may be evaluating or thinking about, if I go in a certain path, how does that impact or affect the people that I love, my family, my current lifestyle? So you may be weighing decisions as you're thinking about your, your path, your future, the big picture for you. But this is the initial stage of manifesting your next steps, uh, your next goal, your next dream. And then an awareness for the week, we have a focus on family. And with this family here, we have a sense of legacy. We have generations reflected in the illustration. We have the, the homestead, the patriarch, the dogs, the kid, the couple. And this, with pentacles, goes to finances, resources, property, investments, taking care of the family, what you're working to take care of your family, and often an extended family. For some of you, you may be taking care of elderly parents or grandparents. Others will be working to save for their child's education, college fund. Some of you may simply need to pay attention this week to your budget, to taking care of your home, uh, checking in with an investment advisor or you know someone about your estate, your will, but there's a mindfulness when it comes to your family. That's something to be aware of for the week. So in terms of guidance, let's get a card for guidance. So with guidance and for your guidance, we have success. So you are going to feel successful. You're going to feel that you have met or achieved a task, a, a, an accomplishment, a goal. It doesn't have to be a huge goal. It could be a little goal for a few days or for the week. And maybe it was a simple goal of running five miles, you know, four days a week. But this is a, uh, it's, the success is a, is a result of you and of what you're doing, the leadership, the taking action. You might have had to sacrifice a few things in order to reach your goal. You may have had to be a leader. So whether this, um, whether this is for your career, 
where you're feeling successful, where you've done something well, where you may get a really nice email, you may get a bonus or a promotion. Uh, but this is by your hand. It's because of your hard work and your efforts that you're able to ride this horse into town wearing the victory wreath and having people watch you. And maybe they're thinking, I'd like to be like this person on the horse. So you have success. You will feel, you will feel successful this week. You will have victory. And again, Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this focus on family, on creation and manifesting and looking to you what's next. You are feeling successful. And then here we're, we're back to this youthful energy of the Page of Pentacles. Sweet, earnest, young person staring at the, at the pentacle. So here we have a focus, a return to focus to finances, to property, to time and energy. And he's studying that pentacle. He may very well be thinking, how can I make more of these pentacles? How can I protect this pentacle? This is about seeking knowledge, learning new things, um, increasing your own awareness. And how do you do this? You do this through discussions with people who are more experienced. You do it through research, through, uh, you know, again, education perhaps, but he is hardworking, devoted, and very sincere in the desire to learn. So you may be having to learn a new skill or, a, you know, it could be a new hobby, but something new as you're considering what's next. There's some study involved. There's some uh, knowledge needed as you move forward. So now let's see possible outcomes. So possible outcomes, hard work, feeling overwhelmed, burdened perhaps. Some people associate this card with debt, feeling in debt and struggling to pay off the debt, trying to move these wands up the hill. You know, there's a couple things to think about with this illustration, which is He's pretty strong to be able to push these wands up the hill. That's a lot of determination. That's a lot of grit. But by the same token, why? Why do it all yourself? If you're in the position here of having to provide for family or having to do it all, you, uh, you may ultimately burn out or get stressed out, and that leads to ill health. And with the ten of wands, you know, you're almost, almost there, almost finished. But the, uh, this could be simply working too hard. And you know, in the business world, when you're really good at things, people give you more, they put more on your plate because they think you're really talented and you can handle it. And often people bite their lip and say, oh, sure, I'll do it. But again, you can't do everything. Obligations, commitments, work, family, life is to, is to don't let yourself get into a position of feeling overburdened. Delegate, ask for help. And interesting with the two of pentacles, and here we go again with more pentacles, this grounded um, energy, and another two, which is you're working on trying to keep the balance, that things are active, things are moving, you've got a lot going on, and it's a tricky dance to try to stay in balance. It's up to you, though, to make it so and to make it happen. Uh, this could be, again, if, it, if we're talking about finances, of having to focus your energy, perhaps, in one, in one area to help. Decisions to be made in terms of how you structure your life. How much work, how much play, how much time and attention spent to provide for the family. You know, you've been successful, you have success, you're capable. 
you are a seeker, you're seeking knowledge, and you have maybe big dreams. But ultimately, outcomes of all of this energy is that you can't feel overwhelmed or burdened. And you have to find the balance. You have to um, maybe tweak a little bit here and a little bit there so that you don't feel like you're being put out or, or put upon. So now let's take a look at meditation or focus area for the week. Journey by moonlight. Believe in magic. So a journey by moonlight. Are you taking a trip? Are you thinking of new vistas? Hmm. Dancing in the moonlight. Maybe that's what it is. That song from the 70s or late 60s. Okay. So let's see what we, where we are with spirit or emotional self. Trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. You could be missing out on the magic and the journey by moonlight. So trust yourself. Trust the decisions that you're making, that you're uh, building in your, you know, in your, in your head. Okay, now let's see what we have for love. Consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. So interesting. Here, the home is so prominent within this illustration. The foundation of this home. So you're really thinking about your foundation, whether it's committed to love, committed to a lifestyle, to committed to other people. It's your foundation and how, you know, all the things that go into maintaining the balance into the responsibilities and the obligations. So this is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Take care.